we finally got the body back for the 07 precedent build of 2023 so we're gonna put that on today and get some clothes on this thing So I know we're inside, but turn this on. Let's see what we can see. Oh yeah, there you go. There's some of that flake we put in it. So it's not just a flat. Cool. So I've got this all in. So what you wanna do, come in down, because you have these tabs because you do not want to have gaps here. When I first put this in on one, I had these open, and you see where the tabs are. There's a tab here, 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 and here. So make sure that they snap in to this brow, and then set it back. And then that's when you come in and put your trim piece back on. This is what no one wants to do. I got to drill a hole for the taillight wiring harness. I had said in my previous video that this cart came with the taillights. This body is actually off of that cart. Um, when I was prepping it before I brought it to the body shop, there was a pretty big crack right here. So this body was in good shape. I just kind of had to scuff it and provide and give it to him. So we, uh, I went with this body instead, so it's actually not the body that came with this cart, meaning I have to now drill a hole for this. The instructions indicate uh, an inch and a half. We're going a touch bit sl smaller because this isn't, oops, this isn't an inch and a half. So uh, we're doing like an inch and a quarter because that's all I got to do. I got to get that through and that's it. So. Let me sweat this out for a second and uh, we'll be able to set everything back down. All right. So again, this makes me nervous, but instructions indicate two and a quarter over one and a half up. So we have that marked out here. Uh, I did just, I did this so I know exactly where the tail light is because I really don't want to have the hole too high. So here we go. Okay, so on further review, I am about a quarter inch off, right? So when you look at the instructions, okay, that's fine. Don't let your tape hit here, bring it here. So the rounded edge. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little roop and come out. So let me get that done. Be right back. Oh, God. Can't tell you how depressing that is. Well, let's check our fitment. Okay. That's where we need to be, I guess. Nope, a little bit higher up.
All right. So this one, success. Moved it over a little bit. Kind of takes a minute to just get this all set down into place. Gotta get it clipped in. Oh, want to clip back here. And it seems like it's out on this side again. Yep. All right. So there's four bolts that hold this body on, bucket area. So you'll see this body actually sat out in a shed and uh, I had it, I did test fit it. So we'll have to put some heat to get this to sit back down, but once I bolt it in, it actually corrects itself a little bit. It's these four fasteners here. Let's see here. There we go. You're going to put your drill on your battery. Just be careful not to uh, arc them. There we go. So the seat will eventually push this back in. So we'll be all right there. Okay. Those are new. I jump back in and reference my photo I took when I took this thing apart. Make sure I had those wires correct. And finally, for the last time, I'm putting this thing on. Been pulling those wires in and out for a little bit. No need to go crazy as far as tightening it. That'll do. Oh, all right, we're good to go. Got the lights are working. This is a two-sided tape situation with some screws. So two-sided tape at first. And then you can hit it with the screws if you like. I mean, obviously it's recommended. It's just a tad bit on the inside of that lip. And that's it. There's a screw here. And you can put one in your body here too. But that's it. So that puppy's on. So I'm sure you're wondering what happened. So there might be a little extra behind this, but it's here. It's good. There's no gap. We're fine. It worked out. Frustrating, but it's here. All right, so the rear seat I have, I've been working on outside, and it was in good shape. It just was faded. So we painted it, and I didn't even take it apart all the way. Um, but I did take the plastics off of it and I cannot see where those feet are.
Well, I'm just going to start these. They don't go anywhere. I pulled it over some. So our seat's on. This seat didn't have any branding on it, so I'm not 100% sure which one it is, but looking at how high this one is off the ground compared to that Mad Jacks one, I thought that we'd measure it because this thing seems like it is in the air. So I'm 24 inches here. And this guy is... 22 so not exactly sure why that is but yeah it looks super high on this one and uh, eventually we'll get them outside and do a comparison but I think that's gonna be it for tonight thanks for watching get this body back on next coming up is seats uh, my previous video on this one we talked about a mod seat cover I did go a different direction so We'll show you that next time and there's a ton of videos out there on how to cover seats so i don't know if we'll record that whole thing but we got a little bit of work to do on this guy to get it ready to recover but we'll get there eventually so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time